Hi everyone, this is Johnny O'Nose, and I'm playing Subnautica, the, the latest version, the Power Nap update. In the last episode, we explored the floating island, and we uncovered all sorts of new plants and goodies for us to partake in. And in this episode, we're going deep. We're going to the Grand Reef, and I can't see a thing. Let's go down. Grand Reef is pretty lit up because of the uh, blue glowing orbs, so we'll know when we we see them or we hit the ground. I'm not sure we're gonna actually hit the ground at, at this. Oh, oh, we hit something. All right, we're already there. Never mind. Okay, let's just use the camera to figure out where we're going. And we are looking for that right there, which is aluminum oxide. Aluminum oxide is used for all of the pressure compensators that we'll need for... Um, let's see if we damage the ship real quick. It's kind of tilting a little bit That's in a way I don't like. I don't know if the Cyclops can be damaged anymore. It used to like spring leaks and water flowing in. Um, so we're definitely not going to take the psych, uh, the Seamoth. Actually, we're at a depth we can take the Seamoth. What am I talking about? And go down to 300. We're really close to the ground, though, so this may be... Alright, cool. Didn't smash in anything. Alright, so we are now in the Grand Reef, or the Lesser Reef. Uh, you can tell by the, the blue glowing orbs and kind of the bluish tint to everything in this area. Let's see what we can find from the, uh, the resource nodes that are here. So this is basalt, so we have a chance of picking up uh, diamond or gold. And we're going to get some aluminum oxide, which is what we need for all the um, pressure compensators. Let's see what else we can find. We're probably going to be able to find the nuclear power plant fragments in this area too. All right, let's keep going down, 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 down. There's another aluminum oxide. Keeping a very close eye on my depth because we're nearing crush depth for our uh, sea moth right now. That needs salt. And because we have the uh, oh wow, there we go. There's all the aluminum oxide we're actually going to need. I'm gonna pick up a little extra. I want to get like eight, maybe, but um, that's probably double of what we need. Get some quartz over here. You can see that there is a uranium crystal here as well. So just pick up a little bit of that. We can um, we can find a lot more of it in the uh, blood kelp zones. Actually, we're finding quite a bit of it here. Oh, there's a fragment scan it and get back to the moth. Oh cool, here's the pressure compensator that we need. Very good. Let's get back to the moth so we don't drown. So we're going to try to collect these fragments in this episode so that um, we can start getting to work on the pressure compensators which is going to be a lot of uh, a lot of resource gathering, so it's good that we have the Cyclops now, and probably going to have to get it fitted out with uh, some more lockers so that we can take a huge amount of resources. So there is the nuclear power plant. The nuclear power plant basically brings us to the point where we can actually build a real base. Like uh, I like skipping the bioreactor because. For me, it's a little, a little too much work to have to keep going back and forth on uh, collecting creep vine. Even though it's super easy, I mean, if you uh, if you want to build a, a you know a base that's deeper and you don't mind doing creep vine, go for it. Especially if you want to put the creep vine in uh, a little aquarium or the alien containment tank, uh, you can grow four of them in there. And as long as you have it two stories t tall, it will grow to full and you'll be able to harvest from it. So let's uh, just cautiously drive around. Maybe we'll get some fragments on this little... There we go. There's one. Oh, thermal plants here too. Hmm. I didn't know that. I thought they were only in the, uh, the dunes. Well, that's different. Pick up some gold, because we need gold, right? No. 
not really. Let's see what we can see down here. Definitely not going to be able to take the uh, moth there, but uh, maybe we can grab another one of these guys. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. And there's another one over here. So how many we have? Uh, that's eight. That's enough. So we've accomplished our mission for the day here. Now we need to um, find the fragments for the pressure compensator. Which I think may be a little bit on the difficult side, but let's see how we do. Just kind of skirting the edges where we can actually drive this thing. Try my best to uh, keep the Seamoth movement as smooth as possible, but I'm not really good at it. Caution. Passing safe depth. Yes, we know. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe I should have brought the Sea Glide for this adventure. Mm. Alright, let's try. Let's see what we can see. The funny thing is, you know that let's let's go back to the Cyclops. The Cyclops can go down to five hundred. Now my only worry is that is uh, go up, go up. My worry is um that the moth will blow up while it's in the Cyclops Bay. So let's see if what happens when that when we do that. Because we can go down to 500, which is a lot closer. A lot easier to get. Um, let's see what happens. Let's go back to the uh, Cyclops and uh, bring her on down. Cyclops right out of the gate can go down to 500. So, let's see what we can see. We have to be a little cognizant of our food and water. Food, uh, water, not so much because I'm drinking my own pee. Um, but um, well, yeah, just got to keep an eye on it. Put this stuff away that we don't need. Oh, we have water. We're definitely good in water. If we find some titanium. That'd be that'd be great. We can just make a a plant bed and call it a day. All right, let's go down. Now I want to make sure that. Um, we get to like 300 and a little bit depth, so I can check to see if our uh, sea moth is breaking. If it is, we'll just leave the sea moth floating above 300, and then go down with the uh, cyclops. Go downtown with the cyclops. It's too bad I can't. Okay, cool. All right, that's a good indicator that. Um, the moth is going to start shattering as soon as we go past 300. Okay, so we're going to just leave her here. We won't forget you, dear. We love you. Okay. I've Frenched my submarine. Now let's take Big Daddy down a little bit further. I really wish it give you the depth. But it might actually be easier to spot the fragments this way. There are those beautiful sea treaders. Love those things. Great. We need more copper. This is where you gotta go. Let's see what our depth is. Oh, we're fine. Why am I getting off? We are fine. Hopefully we'll, we'll hear a warning when we get close. There's a fragment over there. Something to run into there. Let's get that fragment. Yeah, plenty of plenty of depth. Plenty of depth. No problem. No problemo. Got a rebreather. Got another compensator fragment. Perfect. And I think the uh the nuclear power is in the uh, like the cave system underneath the Grand Reef area. Okay, let's see what this one is. All right, we got the Cyclops pressure compensator. Very nice. So let's just take a quick look around for anything else that we need. 
Maybe pick up a couple more uh, uranium crystals. Just keeping a close eye on my health and making sure I don't go too deep because there's crab people, crab people. Alright, let's go back to the Cyclops. Yeah, I think that's all we really need from the Grand Reef for now. So let's just take a quick drive around and, um, yeah. Try not to hit that pillar there. So relaxing this game. Even when it's frantic, it's still, it's still super relaxing. Aluminum oxide, don't need any more of that stuff. Slam into something. Oh, you know what we can do? We've got uh, just 11 minutes into the episode. We could uh, check out this this wreck. So we don't do it later when I forget about it. All right, we've got our. Uh, I think the only thing we're missing. Uh, some extra batteries for the laser cutter, but other than that, we're uh, good to go. So let's let's try doing that. Let's see. Let's see if I die. So yeah, we got a big wreck right here with a fragment on top. Nice. Which is something we already have. Okay, there's a door there. That looks like a door we can't open. It's a lot better to have the sea moth for the for this thing. Because the fact that you can just park the sea moth right outside the door gives you a nice indicator of where you need to do need to go to get out. Where is the entrance? So here's the entrance. But what are these things? Are these like nothing lights. Okay, now that we know the entrance, let's open it up and then get some more air on the cyclops. Now that we've spent time opening, let's open this door. So we just spend less time trying to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, less time. Less time with no air. And then maybe laser cut this thing. I think we have enough time for it. Well, how many time if I keep puttering around here? Come on, go, 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 go. Cut. We will stop at like 20 air. That should be enough to get back to the Cyclops. But yeah, when I do these um, excavations, uh, I tend to bring like three tanks with me. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And then maybe some extra batteries. I can't wait till the uh, lithium ion. I'm going to focus on not dying here. There we go. Uh, we can you can make lithium batteries in the experimental mode, so it'd be nice to have twice the oomph with um, the batteries, especially for the laser cutter, which takes so much power. Like you really only, I think you can really only knock down two doors with one battery for the laser cutter. But we'll just steal some battery power from something else, and then. Uh, Keep going if that's that's what we need to do. All right, let's find our wreck again and our door. Let's see if I can. We saw those little lights, so that's a pretty good indicator of where we need to go. It's on this side, yes. Oh yeah, there we are. What's this? What's this? What's this? A thermal plant fragment. Let me scan you. I think we're done with the thermal plant now too. We are. Awesome. Okay, let's get this door open. All this work for potential, like, you know, pots and beds and stuff. Though I do like the um, little handheld lights that you can get. Those are kind of cool. Love how the hands get all funky if you, uh, if you move in a weird direction. Oh, wow, I've never seen fragments like this. Wow, I flabbergasted. This is this is great. I've never seen fragments that are just in a room like this. Two nuclear reactor fragments just hanging out here. That's awesome. We just need one more. So if we don't die from me not paying attention and talking too much. Alright, let's get some air. So as you can see, the laser cutter is pretty much spent, so 44% uh, per door. We have another door to cut. 
And I'm a lot more excited now because I've never seen fragments like that just sitting in a room. That's new to me. New to me. All right. Let's go right to the other side instead of going around the way we've been doing it. Okay, cool. Here we are. Looks like this thing has a little light on it. That's nice. This always makes me think that there's some sort of upgrade waiting for us. Nothing else. Take this door down. I'll just show you. Like, if you... Oh, it looks like they fixed the, the weird... Like broken hand. Oh, there we go. Like the hand's going right through your body to cut. <laughs> hand in my stomach. I don't know where the hands go now. It's like going backwards. It's like the UFC game from uh, the EA. The EA, yes. The A EA. Yeah, I still, I still, I can't stop laughing when I see ragdoll physics go wrong. Like from skate one through three and and the UFC games it's just hilarious person like devours his elbow and then smashes someone in the face all right let's see what we can see another fragment that's okay that's that's awesome I mean we already have it so don't really care that much let's get some air and it looks like we're gonna have to go into one of those pipes where I'm probably gonna die Every time I go into those like ventilation shafts, I always get so disoriented. And I'm just like, ah. Oh. All right, let's get some air. Let's get some air. And away we go. Pull out the laser cutter because it has a little light on it. It's nice. Is there anything in here that we care about? It's the desk. Another thermal plant fragment. That's that's awesome. I'm gonna stop scanning those because we're <laughs> limited on time. But I'm getting some titanium. All right. Get a light here. We're gonna go die now. Just saying it now. Just saying it now. Oh man, another thing to cut. Oh my goodness. Alright, uh, let's just do as much as we can right here and then get back to the Cyclops. You can even hear my voice wavering a little bit. Ah, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Let's get back to the um, Cyclops. Oh, it's done. Kadoki. Oh, Kadoki. I am frightened. But I'm on video, so I need to sound cool. Alright. Yeah, this is a very inefficient way of doing this, so I apologize. Um, yeah, I normally have like three tanks and a bunch of batteries, as well as having a battery charger on the Cyclops itself. Uh, let's have some water, and uh, let's replace the power in the welder, which is probably a terrible idea, but hey, we do. And then. Uh, this button, and then hit this button, and then hit this button, and then I guess there's no charge in anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh wait, you know, I did have a... I did pick up a battery at some point, didn't I? Didn't I? You're supposed to respond now, didn't I? Yes, I did. Alright. Cool. At least we have an extra battery. Getting pretty hungry, though. But I've got a fabricator on this bad boy, so... Alright, yeah, that's a good idea. Just get lost. <laughs> like, where is this gigantic vessel that I'm supposed to be looking for? Alright. Do, 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 do. Fast, fast, fast. Fast, 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 fast. Oh my god, don't get caught. <laughs> Alright. Cut! Don't stop! Cut! It's like that last episode of uh, Game of Thrones. I'm like, don't stop! Don't stop doing what you're doing without giving any spoilers. Just keep going. No spoilers of Game of Thrones on my videos. I don't dare it. Blasphemous. Alright, uh, we're probably going to have to turn tail and get some more air. But we can just take a quick peek. 
if there's too much cool stuff, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be like, woo, 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 and then die. Oh, you got to be kidding me. There's another one? Ah. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. These wrecks are a lot more interesting now. Maybe there was an update that I'm not aware of. Normally I just like open up a room and I, I get like a pot to scan or something. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. All right. We're almost done here. We're at the 20 minute mark on the episode, but um, I'm just going to finish exploring this wreck. And then what I'll do is I'll take the Cyclops back home so we can do some stuff. Actually, because we have the titanium from the fragments, I could, um, yeah, let's let's do that. I'm going to stop the episode here right after we build something real quick. Really, 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 really quick. Promise, promise, promise. We're going to make a plant pot. We'll put it right here. Right, and then we're going to take one of these glorious plants, a rotten lantern fruit, and then instead of eating it, we're going to put it with the right click. There we go. And uh, hopefully we'll have a bit of food by the time uh, it's grown and ready to go. Alright, so I'm going to go stop the episode here. We'll continue exploring the, uh, the, the wreck and then uh, make our way back home to, um, you know, focus on the pressure compensators that we need to build for both the Cyclops as well as the Seamoth. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Johnny Onos playing Subnautica.